what's up y'all it's toddy from toddy talks welcome to my channel if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you are returning thank you thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching some more of my videos so if you want to know how you can do this hairstyle on yourself and the products that i use go ahead and keep watching this video don't forget to like this video and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now like right now right now okay you guys i'm just starting off by wetting my hair with my regular water bottle you can get this from the beauty supply and i'm also going to take my wide tooth comb and go ahead and just separate the back of my hair into two more sections to make that detangling process a little bit easier and as you can see i'm going in with my dimming brush as well just to make sure that my hair is all detangled and that it's thoroughly combed through and I'm just going to put one side of my hair into a ponytail so that I can do my lock method as you can see I'm wetting my hair a little bit more making sure it's detangled again and then I'm just going to take my leave-in conditioner by Carol's Daughter which will be linked in the description box and putting that all over my hair making sure that it is thoroughly put into my hair and then I'm going to take some Curls Blueberry Bliss hair growth oil and put that around my hair as well. Usually I use argan oil but I ran out so I decided to try the growth oil. Now I'm taking my Aunt Jackie's Curl La La and I'm going to thoroughly put that in my hair as well. This is my second time trying this product. I hadn't used it before because I didn't really like how it mixed with my Eco Styler, but today since I'm not really putting Eco Styler all over my hair, I wanted to try it out for this twist out and see what type of results I would get. Now my hair is all detangled and I have finished my lock method on the back of my hair. So I'm just going to take the first row and put the excess hair that I have in a ponytail. And I'm going to start off, this is going to be three twists because it's not that much hair at the bottom. And I'm going to start off by regularly twisting them and also adding some Eco Styler to the ends to make sure that it holds because I do have a little bit of heat damage on the end of my hair. Uh, here it's a better view for you guys. I just do my twist like any other way. Don't put too much Eco Styler on your hair though because it does not mix very well with the Aunt Jackie's if you do use the curl pudding. And yeah, I'm just going to finish doing the rest of my head. The process is actually fairly quick. It only takes me about 15 minutes to twist my entire back of my head. Not a game, it's a red stick. First off y'all, lymph check, lymph check. The twists are all done in the back of my head. I just wanted to show y'all the dead ends I have on one side of my hair and how that looks at the end of the twist. But overall, I'm very, very proud of how far I've came in my transition and journey. Now for the front of my hair, I am just going to put it in a regular ponytail and I'm putting a little bit of argan oil eco styler around it and also using my hard brush just to slick that hair down as well as my toothbrush to get my baby hairs looking cute. I barely have edges but I'm using wild growth to get them popping and I just twist my ponytail up for the night. Hey you guys, I am back. I have slept in my twist have been in for probably a little over eight or ten hours um this is how they look some of my ants got scrunched up from sleeping i just slept in a regular um bonnet nothing too fancy i didn't put a scarf on or anything i did put my hair in a bun already because who really cares just take the top put it in the bun but i really wanted to get into the actual twist results so we're going to jump straight into the results i'm so excited um this is my second time doing this hairstyle so i'm praying that it turns out right and yeah i'm just gonna take my blueberry bliss 
um, hair growth oil again. Usually I use argan oil to separate my hair, but I ran out, so I'm gonna take this hair growth oil. Plus I really wanted to try it anyway and um, use it to separate my hair and massage my scalp. So yeah, let's get straight into the first twist. I'm just gonna put some oil in my hands, rub it all over my twist, and then we'll begin to take them down. Okay, so I'm gonna take one from the side of my hair. Okay, so this side, pretty much all the heat damage is gone. I really only have heat damage on the left side and then the front, which is why I put the top of my hair in a bun because it makes no sense to put it in twist knowing that the ends will most likely come out straight and it just wouldn't be cute. So I'm gonna take one from here and one from here just so you guys can see the difference on how the twist look when you have damaged ends like mine that are completely straight and when you have healthy hair on this side, okay. You see the shrinkage, the length. We have healthy hair on this side and how the ends look. I'm so happy that I'm starting to see some good results from my transitioning journey. And yes, this is how the twist looks. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so y'all can see this. But that, this is only one twist y'all and it looks so good. And then let's do this side. Which one do I wanna take it from? We'll take it from this one. And this side looks good as well, but as you can see, like the ends, that's not cute at all. But I'm gonna make it work because you gotta, you know, figure out ways to be creative even when you have heat damage. Okay, I'm going to continue to take out the rest of my hair and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys how I kind of bluff it up. It's not a game, it's a Okay, y'all, I have undone all my twists. This side looks so good, so healthy. This side, still looking good, it's getting there. My ends looking crazy, but that's okay because low key, after a few months, this will probably be gone. I don't have that much left to cut off. And I would just chop it all off, but I'll just wait. I'm not really into doing the big cuts. Now I'm going to kind of finger rake through my hair. If you've seen my bantu knot tutorial, then you know what I mean. But I'm going to separate my twists, kind of just taking them and pulling it apart like that and separating them in half, making sure that I kind of keep the ends neat and curl. I don't want them to frizz up. Um, And I'm going to do that around my entire head and then come back again so that y'all can see the final look. Okay, you guys, I am done, done, done separating my hair and it looks so good. Like I am loving, I am loving, living, dying for the definition. And as you can see, like this side, of course, looks so much better on, than this side with these damaged ends. Usually with my ends, I kind of try to scrunch them up like that, like take them in. What's the word, tweeze? to weave them a little bit so that I can be scrunched up and you can't really notice that they're straight. But um, yeah, I like to go through and kind of tweeze my ends and move my hair around so that you can't really notice the straight ends a lot. Um, I still am loving this on me. Like, come on you guys, come on. I am loving this going to take my pick my good trusty pick 
and pick my hair out a little bit so that I can have some volume and it's not so flat. I'm not going to pick it out too much though. Maybe we'll see how it's looking because I really do want the hairstyle to last and the more that you play with it, the, it's not going to last as long. Okay, y'all, my hair is all picked out and I am loving, uh, loving the results. Although these straight ends are making me a little upset, I still feel like overall it's a good look and I'm glad that I'm transitioned far enough to be able to do this because a few months ago if i tried to twist out my hair probably wouldn't have even been able to stay in the twist it would have unraveled because of how straight and damaged my hair was and i'm just so happy that i've come far enough to ha have this side transition pretty much completely and this side almost be done transitioning on my front that's going to take a little while. Y'all might see me rocking half up, half down for a minute because I have been wearing weave. And you know, having leave out is just giving you a whole lot of heat damage. So I have a far way to go with the front of my hair. But I am so, so, so happy with the way this came. I want a video on my transitioning journey. You know, let me know down in the comments. I've been wanting to talk about it for a really, really long time. So if that's something that interests y'all, go ahead and let me know. So before this video is over, is over, go ahead and hit that like button. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you can be reminded every time I have a video.